Oh shit, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, hope you're having a wicked day. In this video, we're going to be doing something completely different from the power to football stuff. This time we're checking out some wheelchair tennis. Right now we've got the Wimbledon going on. And uh, the Wimbledon final is in a couple of days. So I thought we'd check out some wheelchair tennis, man. Let's take a look. Now I know a little bit about tennis, especially wheelchair tennis. I played a little bit when I was younger, but I was really bad at it, of course. So I thought we'd check out, and this is Wimbledon wheelchair points of the decade. So this is from Wimbledon's YouTube channel themselves. So let's take a look, man. So yeah, if you're enjoying this type of stuff, make sure you like and subscribe. And in the comment section, let me know what else you want me to watch or react to. And I can make sure I sort that out. But anyway, that's enough talking. Let's get into the video. And let's see some skill these guys have got. Let's check it out, man. Best wheelchair points of the decade. Ah, uh, so we're playing some doubles here. See, so they can use the lines outside. Yo, they're going on forever. Oh my god, it's still in play. <laughs> Turn again. Oh my god, these guys aren't stopping. God, can you get yeah? What a shot! Holy shit! Wow, what a shot that is! Wow. Ude and Kunieda stayed in that rally as long as they did. So I just want to pause it here, just so I can show you what I'm talking about. They're wheelchairs, right? They're very similar to wheelchair basketball. Can you see here the big wheels? They're quite, they're slanted. They're at an angle. So what that means is the chairs can like, turn on the spot really quickly. It's a low center of gravity. And because the wheelbase is quite wide, it makes it easier to turn on the spot. So if you've seen the, in the rally, sometimes their hands aren't even on the wheel, but they're able to turn the chair. They can turn the chair because of just their body weight transfer like that. That's why they can turn the chair. <clears throat> but still, what a rally that is. It just kept going on. That's a hell of a shot straight across the court. That's 2012 final. Nice. Oh, she just reached. I thought she missed. Can you get it? Yeah. Oh, what a oh, shot. That is splendid. Wow. And it fun coot with two very high quality shots. That's a fantastic shot. What a shot that is. 2014 final. And just the rhythm and timing these guys have is incredible, isn't it? Oh, can you get it? Oh, shit, what a shot. I've no idea how she's got it, but she has. So we're seeing a trend here. Those cross court just below the net seems to be the king shots here. They're just tipping over the net, just going across court, so nobody can really get it. I thought she was going to crash into the chairs parked on the side. This is the semi-final. So yeah, I just want to talk about it a little bit. Their chairs, right? The way they can sort of push their chair. Like the timing, you know, the ball's coming. You have to time your push and swing because you're using both hands to push a chair. But then you also need that hand to hit the, the ball in it with your racket. So to be able to, you know, time it is so difficult. The ball's coming towards you, it's bouncing. You've got to time your push and the swing of your racket. It's like really impressive to watch. Oh, he tipped oh, over. Oh on. my god. He volleyed that and he was still at one. Can you get it? Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, oh, he's crashed. Oh, wow. One of the most unbelievable That's impressive. Hey, he comes out and he's on like a handstand. <laughs> he still hits it. <laughs> <laughs> my man's on the floor and still hits it. Yo. <laughs> oh, That's strokes. Back on look how quick he is. Chasing oh. and he wins the point. Wow, what a player that is, man. All right, we've got some singles. Oh. Wow. How did he do that? Yeah. Made the bend on that? He slashed that mad. Wow, I was just going to say that was out. And then look, watch. Wow, I see the curve on the oh. ball. <laughs> Boomerang. Man, curved it like Beckham, yo. That was mad. Oh, wow. Like that was pick. sick. Easy right, some more doubles. 2016. Oh, 
Oh, how did that stay in? Oh, wow, oh, one hand. That's a retort for you. How about that? Bro? What a shot. Again, take about him. I'm pretty sure that guy there who hit that winner, he's won like five Wimbledon's or something on his own. Incredible backhand. Yeah, I've seen him, man. I've seen him. 2016 final. A mixed doubles. Oh, what a shot that is. I just want to show you there, right? If you look at this person here, yeah. Sorry, I don't know what name is right, but when the ball's coming to her, she's just doing circles. Like, if I take this back a little bit, you see, right? Watch. Look at her chair. She's doing circles. Look. So, can you imagine to time it? She's, you can't stop your chair. Because if you stop and the ball comes to you, you ain't got the momentum to go. So, I think that's why she's doing circles, right? To keep the momentum of the chair moving so that she can move to any side, right? Uh, she's just doing circles. Oh, can she get? Yeah, good shot. Oh, unlucky. That was well played. Also, I say right, the teamwork. So the the two players got playing team. Right, obviously they're both on each side. So the communication so that the ball doesn't go between them has to be spot on. It's either that or you play with your partner so much that you know. Who goes for what? Yeah. But the practice is incredible. Uh, what shot? And these guys are really hitting the ball, you can hear it. Can you get it? Oh, what a shot! Wow! Yeah, it's that guy again. Look at that! What a shot! What a shot! Yeah, Alfie Hura, I think the said his name is. Okay. Why wow, is they really smacking the ball? Damn, how did you hear that? Yeah, good hit. That's really high though. Yo, these guys don't stop. They don't get tired or nothing. This is madness. No, I'm serious now. They're not tired. <laughs> they can do this all day by the look of it. Oh my god. This just looks like a training match, isn't it? Like, they just. Uh... That's a shot. Can you get it? Oh, this is taking a piss now, isn't it? <laughs> Damn. I didn't hear that. She said you, so they're communicating. Look. Oh. How much hard work was involved in all of that? So I just want to talk a little bit about some of these players, like their disability and stuff, right? Some of them, most of the players that I know anyway that play tennis, they've got like spinal cord injury. So what that means is like their legs are anything below the waist, they can't move. That is paralyzed basically. But their upper body is uh, fully functional like a, like a normal person. So their upper body, the way you can see the way these girls were swinging the racket, obviously clearly they've got good control of their upper body. They can swing. You know, I mean, look at their arms. Like, her arms pretty big. They're like, they're pretty deformed. Like it's pretty strong arms. They're formed, sorry, not deformed. <laughs> but yeah, like, so their upper body is pretty strong. That's why people like me can't play stuff like this because my disability is the Duchenne muscular dystrophy, which means it affects all muscles in my body. So upper body, lower body, everything. So we can't play stuff like this. That's why I play like power chair football because obviously you use a power chair to play the sport. But these guys obviously, they're or women, they're pushing themselves using the upper body and they're strong. So you can see it in this clip here. Rally of the, match. the way they're what a able to swing the racket like that. All right. Let's see what? Oh, what a shot that is! What 
Ah, what a shot that is. Can you imagine the concentration? And nothing here. They're just like chilling out. Like they're not panicking. They're not nothing. This is like they can do this in their sweet sleep. They're not like flustered. Oh shit! The ball's coming. No, they're calm, relaxed. Just you know, nicely here back. See, calm, relaxed. Oh whoa! He crashed. Awesome. Can you get up, bro? Ball still in play though. Carries on. It's two against one. Ah, uh, he's up, he's up, he's up. Do a lob again. And he's back in play. Oh my god. <laughs> my man literally slammed the wall. Literally, his face was in the wall, yeah, and he's able to get himself up and then hit a, hit, hit a shot like that. Wow. That's impressive, bro. My man ate the wall, look. Bang! And my man got up though. Ball still in play. That's what I played. 2018 final, Fernandez and Gerard. Don't know these guys, obviously, but oh, yo, oh, he's hit that behind. That's that's impressive, what man. Oh, I think he lost, bro. Is he there as well? Oh. How did he get that it? one? Yo, oh, Fernandez, chill. Oh, <laughs> chill, Fernandez, chill. How do you do that? Oh, my goodness. Total respect. Bruv, look at the guns on this guy. Fuck, you know. He's oh, strong. Look how fast he is. That was incredible pushing. This is the one that blew my mind. Look, he even got all the way around to the back. And of also, it. another thing I've got to say here, these mans are pushing the chair on grass. Now, obviously, their grass is, Wimbledon grass is really thin, like carpet, but still, it's harder to push on a grass or carpet than it is, like, on a standard hard court. So, the pushing power you need is, you know, you've got to be strong. He was Look at him. He's there. rapid, this guy. It's intriguing to see these four players wrestling. All right, 2019. Good shot. So see, can you see the way they swing the racket? Oh wow, she killed the ball. That ball bounced dead. Look at the slice on that. Wow. 2019. What happened there? I'll go back. I didn't see that. That happened so fast. Oh, wow. He killed that shot dead. Well, drop shots don't get much better than that. Double bounced and died. And that's the best shot. Wow, that's sick. So, yeah, man, as you can see, these guys are really talented. You know, to be able to push the chair, time it, so that when the ball comes, you swing your racket and hit it. This guy's really good. And you can see the upper body, then peak physical condition. These guys can really smash that ball. It's really talented, man. It's incredible to see. And, like, you know, I would encourage people to watch it live on TV as well. Because the more people that watch this type of stuff, the more popular it will become. And, yeah, these guys deserve massive credit, man. So, yeah, massive credit to them. So, thank guys for watching. That's going to be it anyway. So, if you like it, make sure you like, subscribe, all that good stuff. In the comment section below. Please let me know what else you want me to react to. I was thinking of doing some wheelchair rugby, wheelchair basketball, just check out some other disability sports, man. But yeah, that's the plan anyway, so thank you guys for watching. But I'll see you guys in a bit. Ah, peace!